everybody i wanted to show you a little bit on this wood floor installation um, one of the issues we ran into um, is specifically by this door right here is the way it's set it's set on the cinder block wall which is just a little bit proud of the subfloor and i'm going to show you how we're going to address this and still make um, the floor solid and not ruin the the, the uh, cinder block wall so you can see that this sticks up probably a good three-eighths of an inch. And our wood is three-quarters inch thick, but it's actually only a quarter inch wear layer. So we need to leave at least a quarter inch wear layer here for strength. So I have my board cut down to size. So it's tight to tight. And what I did is I pulled it back. I marked it on the end for the thickness and then also marked about how far back the wall needed to come um, so that I could run it through my table saw. So you can see I removed some of the bottom side of the wood. And so what I'm gonna do uh, because I, I didn't want to take out any of this cinder block wall because what can happen is is you start chipping away at that and then you could chip it way back and then down and I, I just didn't want to do that so uh, a safer thing for me is to remove some of the of the wall so then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to put beads of glue here to keep the floor solid in contact here and then it won't uh, even if this is cut up a little bit taller than this that will still once the glue is set up the board isn't really going to flex and that way we can achieve a nice fit and not have to worry about removing any of that so that's just one of the ways in how I am addressing uh, one of these uh, issues that sometimes come up on a wood floor installation um, and uh, you know it's just part of the job and something you have to kind of troubleshoot and go along but that's how I'm solving the issue on this one.